Hey fam, it's been a long time since I've done a video, especially a garden video. So I just like to kind of do a little tour of everything that I have growing out here as of right now. I wish you could see this bird up here. Can you hear him? He is definitely making some noise. Okay, so I'm gonna start firstly with um, this garden bed that um, I built. And then next I'm gonna just go around to the um, greenhouse and all of these things I have in pots right here and then to the other garden beds that I have um, set up along the way okay so firstly I'm gonna start over here I have some radishes going let's see I'm gonna get in there you see that yep and then there's another radish right here I have some lettuce Right there and some more lettuce a few things of spinach down here the spinach are doing good they're taking a little bit of their slow time to start growing but that's okay this is my first time um, growing spinach from seed and um, yeah I don't know how long it generally takes but there are really slow growers in my raised garden bed I have this kill right here it is growing really tall kind of sticking out of the bed and these right here these red flowers um, these also have grown from seed I'm just amazed with them uh, most of everything because I've got in my greenhouse this year has been grown from seeds and I wasn't sure if I should have thinned this out or not because I think it's more than one seed um, that I did plant in the pot, but it has come together very, very well. And um, I think it works for these flowers. I didn't know this flower was gonna get this bushy, um, but I think it's perfect in the spot that it is in. Um, yeah, I have some more lettuce right here. And then a purple cabbage right there. Um, when I first put this here, these items right here wasn't here in my and I just thought that it might have um, kind of fit right here better. But then I kind of forgot I put this red acre cabbage here and it will definitely probably have to be moved. Um, I don't see it having enough space if you can see right here. Um, and then behind it, I have this bell pepper plant. This one right here was um, grown from the uh, Dollar Tree seed. And do you see all of the flowers that I fell, like all of the bell peppers that it will be? Um, my sister got me these seeds. They are the variety seeds. So I'm not really sure which one this is that's growing, but you have all of the different colors. And then you have this one right here. This one is a bell pepper plant also, but this one came from, I believe, Lowe's. Um, when they first started doing the spring plants. So this, if you see the ones I grown from seed and this one, I've treated them both the same. I started cutting uh, the flowers way in the beginning but still you can see seed is growing better and I don't know it's because of the soil that it was seeded in or what have you but um, I'm finding that growing your own from seed is just very very beneficial right here we got some broccoli and then we have another broccoli right here they're doing pretty good they're getting huge I expected them to get big, but they're really flourishing in this bed. Um, I think I did this lettuce right here already. And we have a male girl right here that's grown from seed. These are the big marigolds. Um, for some reason, this one is just a baby, I believe because it's kind of being shadowed by the bigger ones. These are the huge African marigold, marigolds. So you can see they're pretty big. And then you have the regular ones right here, which are smaller. 
kind of hidden down below this one right here is um, ready to almost be plucked so I can get the seeds from it but it has one two three four um, blooms on it and then these are the bigger ones what a difference and then I have the orange right here that kind of gets um, shaded we have some celery growing I started to blanch it um, or bind it so that the stalks can become very thick on the um, bottom and grow like that and some more lettuce around here I have this huge collards right here these collard greens um, these were grown from seed as well um, nothing special about it but for some reason because of where it sits this bed it gets the morning afternoon and the blazing noon sun so I have this 40% cover over it and I purposely um, had these rods here to um, be able to put this covering here because they this poor collard right here was getting so beat up by the sun that I was just feeling so sad for it. I was having to put an Amazon box over it to give it a break throughout the day and um, it was bad it was brutal but then I got this shading it's pretty nice in the shading it doesn't block everything but it blocks just enough have some green onions right here going along the edge got a dusty miller in here uh, these are some of my favorites but I've never put it in like a, um, a bed I've usually just put them in pots or in the ground um, I also got some Swiss chard in here kind of hidden so it's not gonna do as well as I like um, but you see there's yellow right here and then red right there. I have some pole beans. I really thought I had planted some um, bush beans, but these are poles. So I have stuck this. Um... Oh, look at the bird. You see him? Look at him. He come to check out what I'm doing. <laughs> I have these, so I just stuck this um, tomato cage in here just to kind of give it some room and I've been wrapping it around um, just because it's been going pretty wild. There's some more Swiss chard down there. Beautiful bright red. And then another pepper plant. It has a couple baby peppers and some white flowers down there. Right there. I'm going to go along this side. Coming out of the bed is this tomato plant. Now, this is a black cherry tomato right here. It is actually taller than this because when I started it, I dug it very deep and I planted it over there. So it was very, very tall when I planted it. And so it goes from under that dusty miller all the way under this dirt and then it comes all the way up now I do have a couple of suckers like this one right here um, because I've already torn this branch off due to um, it rained really hard and it got broken by this pole but I do have it staked up like this and then I have this sucker right here that needs to be removed I haven't removed it because I do want to take it and propagate it to make another tomato plant. Um, but you can see this began to flower right there. And there was some more flowering, um, but the storm broke it off. I'm gonna come down here into this little bed right here. I have some marigold seeds growing here these are the larger marigolds so I put them in this pot and when they get to a certain size I'm going to move them to another location 
And there's another, this right here is another um, box store pepper plant. I don't know what's going on with it, but it kind of has like this little um, action going on to it. And then you have these down here that are very, very weak looking. I just might pluck them to give um, this plant more time to uh, establish roots better. Um, but yeah, not so good looking. Uh, also, there's a little kale there growing. Then some green onions here. I put these in here because I'm trying to keep um, the bugs down from coming towards my plants. And they don't like these onions. <laughs> so it has helped. Oh, here's a curly kale. Right here we have a curly kale. Doing nicely. And then another one right there. And some spinach. This spinach is doing very, very good. I think maybe it's the space it's allowed. Um, I noticed that spinach has like a funny little look to it once it first gets its true leaves. And that would be these wide leaves. They go out so far from the little uh, leaves that it first has. And um, yeah, I can't wait to see what this turns out to be. I really can't. All right, so that is this side of this bed right here. I have this free space right here, and um, I'm trying to put um, established plants in here because I kind of lose track if I put seeds in here, and then the seed will pop up. I'm like, oh my goodness, I got to move it. Not enough room. So um, that's it for that side. We're going to come over this side. This side is kind of like herbs over here um, I have some curly parsley here right there very very pretty Let's see if I can get up close to it there we go and some dill this will be my first um, time growing dill from seed I have gotten dill from like the store before, but it's already cut from the root and you can't do anything else with it. Um, but this is a baby dill and it popped up very, very fast. And then it started to grow very slowly. And this is what I have so far. Um, this is my Cuban oregano. I got this from a garden expo. And it was my first time seeing it and I came home and I just, I just was looking at it and the lady, she told me, she was like, oh, you can cook with it. Um, you can propagate it easily if a piece breaks off. So I came straight home, planted it and broke off a piece. Okay. And the piece that I broke off is right here. It is almost bigger than the original plant. Do you see that? Look how beautiful that is. Wait, hold on. You see that? And then I got excited when the baby piece I planted grew so fast, I did another one. There it is right there. And then, without me doing anything, there's a volunteer that came up all on his own. It is so pretty. Oh my gosh, it's so fragrant. It's so fragrant. But yeah, this is the Cuban oregano. I haven't even tasted it yet, but it smells so delightful. Some regular sweet basil right here. It's kind of bushy along the sides because I kept breaking off pieces. Just the leaf and just to, you know, encourage it to do a little bit better. And then I have one right here. I don't know if it's bolting. I don't know what it's doing, but... And you see all that thickness up there at the top? I'm a baby sage. I have some more sage planted in the greenhouse, but there it is, a baby one. Baby, baby, baby. I think I already said something about this pepper plant, but here's another pepper plant if I skipped it. Um, I have some African, right here if you can see it, some African blue basil. It smells very fragrant as well. 
and some cilantro right here. That's doing pretty good. Lemon balm. I had lemon balm in my other raised garden bed and um, accidentally destroyed it digging of sweet potatoes. So I grew this from seed and I didn't know lemon balm grew so fast, but it is now one of my favorites um, to pop a seed in there just to see in a couple days how fast it's grown. And if you can see right here, that's some garlic cloves that I planted. I planted them along the edge because I knew I wasn't gonna really mess with them. And there's another uh, I believe that's kale right there. I can't remember this one specifically, but this right here is kale. And all the way on the other side right there, those two stalks, and then you have a baby one right here. Those are tomatoes. Those are brandy wine tomatoes right there that I'm growing. I grew those from seed. And they're taking their time, and they're indeterminate, so I'm very surprised at how short they are. Um, I gave them a little bit of fish emo emo emotion, emotion, and um, or fish fertilizer, and um, I experimented by giving it to the first one, and the first one is doing good, so I'm going to end up giving it to the other two. I think the second one got a little runoff of it, but the third one definitely didn't get it. So I know that fish fertilizer is working very, very well for them. All right, so I'm going to head over. That is, let me back up. So that is all for this garden bed. The shade is held on with clips from the Dollar Tree right here. Um, I have four clips. I did have six. Um, but I am using them elsewhere. And then I have a stake right here on this tomato plant that's held up by these Dollar Tree clips too. I like them because, as you can see, they have like little indentions right there for the stalk. And it's like perfect. This is not going anywhere. I did have it knotted and tied up but it was interfering with um, this like cherry tomato. So I went ahead and put my clips on there. All right, right here is um, two volunteer plants from my compost. And I will assume it's, um, I know it's a gourd of some sort, so I just don't know which one it is but i'm assuming it's some kind of pumpkin um that the kids might have paint, painted because if you see that little baby pumpkin right there right there i'm waiting on that to come out and bloom um but there's two of them in here and in this pot was something totally different it never uh came to seed or anything like that so these two popped up from the um, compost that I used. And I said, well, you all chose this home, so this is where you will stay. And I just propped them up on a little brick so the ants won't grow um, their little houses. And I find that ants grow their houses in my cloth pots. So just keeping it off the ground has really, really helped. And here's my fish fertilizer right here. This is the one I use. I kind of keep it hidden over here in the um, in the cut to keep it out in the sun. Alright, so I have a TLC section over here. Um, this TLC section is the ones that I come and I check up on give extra care. We need more tending to um, not as much sun, so they're over here shaded by these trees. And, um, yeah. So I have some sweet potatoes. I am, um, I have been collecting the uh, slips from. And uh, I have one little slip right there that I am keeping an eye on. 
These right here are some um, acorns that the, the um, kids had wanted to plant the seeds. So they are literally growing baby trees. I'm just putting those in there. And then I have this coriander right here. Um, it wasn't looking so hot, so I made it over here in the TLC area. And um, these two, no, three, oh my goodness, two, four, six. Um, these are volunteer tomatoes that came up in this flower pot. If you see the flower, the flower is dead back there. Um, but it wasn't dead before. I added a little compost to it and then I had tomatoes pop up. But it's over here because if you see the leaves, something has been attacking it. So, um, not so good. But no matter how much I pick them off and they still come back, it has the most flowering going on. See that? Look at that. A lot of flowers. So we have a lot of tomatoes. It is, these are resilient. They came out of nowhere and they have been just resilient. I'm my uh, Barbados cherry. She's gotten some leaves, so that's why she's over here. But um, still, this is just the most of it right here. I was thinking about chopping it down to the ground or chopping it down to. Um, the bottom right here and um, starting over with it um, but I said I'll give it a little bit longer for it to really get truly hot um, this baby right here is a plum not a leaf in sight and then when I do the scrape test it is brown no green no matter how much I do it. So I'm just keeping it here in this plastic pot to give it a little bit more time before I... Mm, I have high hopes for it, so we shall see. That's why it's over here. I have this plum tree. One of my favorites, it got hit really hard from the storm. And because I moved it over here out of the intense sun, it has grown a few leaves. Right here. There was aphids on it. Um, I found a ladybug and I stuck the ladybug. White smack dab, smack dab in the middle right there. And, um, yeah, it, it kind of worked, so... She's doing good. She is doing good. I don't want to move her yet. Because as you see, she doesn't have much going on. I want to take her out this pot. But then I don't because I don't want to disturb her roots. And I'm pretty sure it's an ant. An ant's nest in the bottom of this pot because it's sitting on the ground. I see them come and go, but... Um, I'm just gonna let it be for right now and give her a chance um, to recover. I'm not gonna go this way. I'm gonna go around this way. These are my experiments. So um, I have some red acre cabbage here, but I'm growing them in peat moss. So of course peat moss doesn't have any nutrition really in it for um, these plants but I know that it will grow roots pretty fast so this is why they are over here as well as the seeds that I got out of the apples that the kids eat so I have one two three, four, five, and then I have some ones right here that are coming up right now. Now, I know these are going to be crab apples, so I'm okay with that. Um, I'm okay with it. And then um, milkweed. 
this just popped up over in one of the beds so I kind of like um, picked it up and put it into this little pot because the caterpillars over there oh and what's this I don't know it's purple I don't know I don't know what that is and I think that's why it's over here because look it's all but that is also in peat moss so I'll see how this little section does it's out of the sun really it's the morning sun and um they're pretty protected got another volunteer growing out of my uh, daughter's little sink here we did have some flowers in there but this popped up um, from the compost that we had the flowers sitting in and i don't know what this is what is this Oh, yellow daisy seeds probably won't work it's dry been hidden over here got some got a snail in it look at that i'll leave it i usually give it a little bit i thought i remember i came and checked upon it and then if nothing comes along it goes right back into the compost here's my awful bin of old trays and um, solo cups and pots and my soda cans which I use for seed salt starting because they help like a heat pad under them and this hanging basket here I have some tomatoes and one baby marigold okay so it's lined with newspaper as you can see um, but this marigold is tiny and is already producing a flower. Let's see, can I zoom in on the flower? No, yeah, a little bit. But there's three tomatoes here, and I'm hoping that they'll hang over once they get bigger. Um, I lost one because it got broke in the storm. That's this hanging basket is hanging on the elderberry. There's the elderberry right there. The sun is setting. That's that one. I'm coming in front of this first bed that I did and you kind of get a, like an overview of what I have in pots over here. Um, this is what I call pot city because I have nowhere for them to go, but I don't want to put them in the ground and they sit right here i'm gonna go this way first i have these two i don't remember what they are what are they let's see what oh cantaloupe two cantaloupes here from seed they're doing good they're doing very good they're doing better now that they're out of the greenhouse i think they weren't tolerating the heat too much so and uh, this was some uh, blackberry um that i purchased last year actually but it didn't come back and then when i kind of tugged on it and i noticed there was no roots so I left it there to remind myself to plant something else in that pot because it's a big pot and I have very few of them. I have some spring onions here. Blackberry that is waking up. And the second blackberry, which is not doing so hot. So this will eventually go over there in the TLC area. And what are these? Oh, Brussels sprouts. Got some babies. One. And baby number two. Brussels sprouts. They're looking good there. Got these two tomatoes. I got these from a master garden class that I went to. And they are cherry tomatoes. They're indeterminate, but I buried them deep. And this is as far as they've gotten in a week. I think they're growing pretty slow, but you know, they're doing very, very well. They actually have a brother that's in the 
um, greenhouse, which I'm going to show you. And um, I think the brother's not as big as them. So I think being outside in these little pots, I didn't fill the pot up all the way because I want to put more dirt in it once they get taller instead of replanting them in another pot. Um, I did it that way. Lettuce. Lettuce here. Now that's a little gem. There's some black um, black seed Samson right there, lettuce. And then this right here is, I think, gourmet lettuce. I can't remember. And then um, these are little bibs right there. Um, oh, my first snake plants. Um, I found a leaf and I rooted it for two weeks and I finally stuck it in a pot and I can't wait to get more uh, snake plants. I have wanted, this was on my list for years and I'm just now getting it and snake plants are so popular and easy to propagate. It just took me forever to get one. I just could not see myself. Um, paying so much for one when I feel like we can we can share these and never have to pay for them two tomato plants right here in these pots they're doing very very good kind of looking a little bushy at the top so I hope nothing attacks it but they're looking beautiful I took out these bottom blooms on this one and nothing grew back but down here this one is being resilient is growing back its um, bottom limbs and I said I am, I'm not gonna mess with it if you if you do that then that's what it's meant to be so I will just let you be I will let you be there's a moss rose right here newest to the family right there I have some moss rose seeds growing in the greenhouse right now and um, this is my first moss rose and it is looking beautiful every morning I come out here it's different flowers and I pinched that one off yesterday and got a baby right here this morning key lime key lime key lime key lime I got one key lime here Ooh. Another baby, which is hanging on by a thread. Look at that one. See that one? See that one? Got a little quad. Got a little quad right here. Flourishing. I hope one day it gives me fruit. I've always wanted a little quad tree. Growing in my backyard, and I hope it gives me fruit. Here's my grapevine. I can't remember what kind of grape. But here it is. Look at that baby leaf. Wow, I haven't even gotten to the other side yet. I'm trying to speed it up a little bit. All right, so we got tomato here. And then this baby definitely is going to end up in TLC area because something is tearing it up. It is loving it, loving it, loving it, loving it. This is a um, collards. Got some blueberries. These are the pink lemonade blueberries. all over here there's my lemon back there ponderosa lemon and then some echinacea is coming up let's see if i can get around here that's some baby green beans my beautiful fig let me move 
move that out of the way. Ah, look how pretty. Now this red mulberry. Let's see. There's a few fruit on it. Where's the other fruit? Oh, there. Now the key lime. Key lime, key lime. Oh, my key lime it has a flower. It's the first flower of this baby. I didn't even see that. I'm seeing it now. My tea olive. Alright, so this is the finished workings of my lettuce um, for my guinea pig. So I'm going to wrap it up. They're kind of going to see it for a little bit. If you can see it. Yep. I'm just breaking the whole thing off now and giving it to him. So he has like a week's worth here left. This is my potato patch. This is huge. I don't know how many potatoes I planted. But it is huge. They are started to lean over. See, they started to lean over. I put these bricks here. And it rained so hard the bricks fell because I had them stacked up like this. Yep, yeah, that's my potatoes. This right here is my my new compost bin. I have a second one over on the other side, but this is my newest one right here. Got quite a few rooms and stuff going on. I put this brick here because the uh, raccoons come um, and they uh, eat out of it. The stuff is rotten, but they still eat out of the compost bin. It's just amazing to me. Like, ew. Ew. Whenever I think about raccoons, they're like, oh, their stomachs have to be tore up. Anywho. All right, this is our happy place. Okay, so this is my greenhouse. Not much left in it. These are the seeds I have that are being taken care of. And because, oh, look at all of the flies. Oh my goodness, this is what happens in the afternoons when I don't get out here early enough to close it before the sun goes down. Flies galore. That's okay. That's okay. That's okay. All right. I'm going to start with my favorite. This is my favorite. It's this red okra. Oh, my goodness. It's grown so much. And I think those are baby okras. But I know they have to flower first. So let's just say those are baby okra flowers. Or they don't look like new uh, leaves. So I don't know. Got some lettuce there, okay. Um, I'm gonna go load and go up since I'm already um, down here. I have these two baby banana um, plants or, you know, banana trees as most people say. Um, but I have two these two banana plants. They came from the mama over there and um, my sister gave me the mama, actually two mamas and they have given me so many, so I had to separate them. And these are my two babies. I put them in here just to protect them from getting dug through because anything new I put out there, the raccoons, they dig it up and I have to come back and undo their digging. Um, this is my succulent area. There's some succulents going here. I have a few right there, if you can see some babies. some Swiss shard purple or red pinkish you know however 
espresso, espresso sprouts right here. I have a mango seed I have been, uh, I'm a little nervous about. I don't think it's gonna come through, y'all. I don't think it's gonna come through. But I'ma leave it for a minute. I'ma leave it for just a minute. Got some watermelons, more lettuce. Um, I have a tomato right here growing in the ground in the greenhouse. And then another one. These are big boys. So they're going to get as tall as this roof. And got some lettuce here on all sides of this. And these Dollar Tree um, planters. These have strawberries in them. Strawberries have a new home now. And some collards. What collards are that? Fly. And some Ford hook. I think these are Ford hook. Um, Swiss yard. Uh, let's go up a little bit. I got some tomatoes going. Celery. Uh, some more Swiss yard. Some mint. Two baby okras right here. Some more celery. And I have to think about these because I can't tell anymore what this is. It's, 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 it's overrun. It's overrun. Here we have some, oh, bell peppers. We have a sprout here and a sprout there. And this is the other tomato that I was talking about that came from the, um, the garden class that I took. So the other two outside are doing better even though oh my goodness the bugs i'm gonna make it quick they don't like me in here all right we got some lemon balm here and some lemon balm there i'm telling you lemon balm is some of my favorite now to grow oh my goodness and some more okra and what is this baby i believe this is a brussel let me see for sure yep brussels Another okra. Mm, look at these peppers. See baby peppers right here. That bug is mad. Mad at me. Another tomato. Have some mango seeds sprouting right there. So I would open them, but it's going to make a wet mess. Some dill sprouting. And some more sprouts. Ooh. I hadn't seen that baby. What are these? Some thyme. And let's see what this is. Oh, some cilantro. Some cilantro right here. You can definitely see the cilantro leaves on this baby right there. All right. Tomato, 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 tomato. Oh, papaya. These came from my papaya um, tree that got damaged in that storm we had last and the freeze killed it. But I had saved some seeds from the fruit and now I have three growing right here. So long live the queen. She is living still. I have some more tomatoes growing. Um, and right here, I don't eat tomatoes, but they are my favorites to grow. And my daughter loves them, so I grow her tomatoes every year. Um, I don't know what this is. I can't remember, and I didn't label that one, but it looks very familiar. And then some more babies. This is a volunteer. I can't tell what this is, but I'm keeping it. can't tell if it's a flower. I can't tell what it is, but I'm keeping it. All right, let's move on to the kiddie pool. All right, we had the kiddie pool right there. Those are the two mama bananas right there. Look at that other baby right there coming out. See, I had to separate them. She was having too much to care for. All right, we got a pepper. We got some onions. Green beans. And tomatoes. A volunteer something. I say pumpkin. We have pumpkin growing everywhere back here. And some more onions. Pepper, peppers, and these are all in pots. As you can see, they're in pots. 
in the kiddie pool um, or in cups and they will eventually go in the bed but they outgrew the greenhouse so they are over here um, and look at my onion ball bin look at that look at that I can't wait to see what that is it's very thick too um, and this pepper plant right here uh, anything interesting in here mm. And I have these tomatoes, tomato babies. This one is tall. It's in a pot with some um, straw cover in it. But I think over here, my favorite in the kiddie pool will probably be this lemon seed right here. It's doing well. Came out of something that we ate. So um, I think that's one of my favorite things now is, um, especially with the fruiting seeds. Let me take this baby over here while I'm talking about this avocado we ate as well. I accidentally chopped it because I did not know um, what it was when it was in the compost. I was just being so rough. And I was like, oh my goodness, it's an avocado seed. So I took the seed and I popped it in this dirt and it gave me two new sprouts. And I think it was a good idea that it actually did that because it probably would have been long and spindly. And this way, like the people say to chop off the first spout and it actually, it's beneficial, it actually worked. It gave me two and it looks like it might be more bushy than long and spindly. She's a beauty. She is a beauty. I have a tomato here. Carrots. These carrots, they're gonna be baby carrots, so I put them in this dog tree. Um, should dang a dang a dang a dang a dang. We have some ornamental kale one, two that got rained. The rain was so heavy, it broke it, and three. Some more, um, some more radishes. Cover that back up. There's another radish right here. And onions. Oh, that's a sweet peas, Roy. Look at those babies. And some sweet potatoes. I did not put these sweet potatoes out here. This is the third year they've popped up on their own. And I know I don't be, I can't find them all every single year. So every single year, and they come back, and they come back, and they come back. This is the third year. I'm going to go really quickly over here. Collard. 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 That's not looking too hot, but it'll survive. Sweet, sweet peas. Collard. And I have a collard all the way down. So, yeah, you get it. But I'm going to take you over to another bed over here. All right, this is my baby girl's um, flower bed. She chose what she would like in here. So she has her daisies. Um, daisies. Uh, zinnias. 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 This is her tie-dye flowers, she called them. And she chose some peppers. She eats peppers and she loves them. I don't even think she's seen that little baby there. So she's starting to get peppers on her plants. She chose these marigolds. Okay, and then some more of those same flowers. These two right here. You can come around here. She has mint. She comes out here and she eats the mint every day. So I'm not afraid of the mint taking over the bed. Um, because she, I don't think the mint can keep up with her. Some days she'll come out here and eat it all. It won't be a piece of mint left. And you come back out here a week later and it has replenished it. So this is her flower bed. Let me back up a little bit. She made, she put her little tags in the ground. 
So that's her flower bed. All right, so next to her bed, I have more pot city. More pot city. Uh, some Swiss chard. Tomatoes. I'm just gonna let you look. A lot of repeats and cover it with uh, straw. Um, guava. There's my baby guava right there. She's branching out. Look. Branching out. I really can't wait to get some. Oh, and some, um, some hot lip sage. Wait, is there hot lips on there? Yep. Look at that. Now, the reason why they hot lips, I don't have one that looks like it, but they are red, uh, white. And then it's like red at the bottom and it looks like lipstick on it. Those have all fallen off. Oh my goodness. My grapevine. I didn't even know it. My grapevine has woke up. It's planted over there behind the um, baby girl's flower bed. Look. These are the first three. Look at that. Yeah. <laughs> and then I have a apple tree. This apple tree right here. It's never produced anything but these leaves. It came, it was like this big, but, um, yeah. All right, so I'm gonna back up. This is covered like this because the sun is so intense. It has done so much damage to this one bed. Um, so yeah. Ooh, I got 5%, let me hurry up. Wait, I'll come back. All right, so let's get to this flower bed right here and make our way this way. I had to put the shade cloth here because it gets so much sun. Okay, so let's lift this up. And it also stops the leaves and debris, like when the wind blows and, and it rains and stuff like that. So this has actually been very perfect. All right, so in here, we have some collards. And my Brussels sprouts right there. Then there's a little broccoli right there. I have some shard in here, but it got damaged from the heavy rain before I put this cloth on here. And then there's some yellow shard right there. Another Brussels right there. This is my rosemary that has been here. Oh my goodness, it's like five years old. And it is a great fighter. Have this tomato right here that is growing in it won't stay i don't want to take it down i'm just going to hold it this is the other broccoli and then i have this tomato here growing in this um bull peanut cup sweet peas green beans i'm going to grow in this trellis here as some celery over here, and I bound them together, get a little, get a little big there. Some radish, curly kale, and then I have like a squash going right there. You see it? My idea is to grow it up along this pole, and some green onion. Ooh, okay, so under here are some of my favorites. Look at this bok choy. This got damaged from the rain. The rain kind of like hits really hard right here. Uh, in the, but look how beautiful that is. There's a tomato hitting in here. And then over here is the lemongrass. Can you see it? is right back here this is my first lemongrass it's rooted now i'm just stuck it in these just stuck it in these pots back here and then some more onions i just want to come back to this beauty here all right so all of this is under the cloth i'm going to come from under here 
kale. Some curly kale, purple Russian kale. Right here. Whoa. That's different. Okay, I did have carrots right here, but the um, heavy rains took those out. Goji berries, okay. I put an okra here, and an okra there, and did I make it, and they did not do as well as the ones in the greenhouse. That's some pineapples. There. We have a couple of peppers that are flowering. There's one, two, and three in this bed. And this is my first time ever having borage. And look how pretty. Let's see if I can get up here look how pretty it is and the whole plant is edible all of it the flowers the leaves all of it and then I have some oh I nope that's not garlic those are onions another squash and then some garlic right here garlic. all right let's go over to the other bed Alright, so this area is not so hot because of the rain. I have some powdery mildew right here. I'm growing it up in this um, trellis. It's actually a closet rack that was in our garage. And it's doing pretty good. I don't know what this is. I can't tell. This came out of the compost. And so that this one, see how the powdery mildew is just getting on it? I assume this is pumpkin. It's either pumpkin or squash. But we have some yellow leaves here. And these are male flowers. No female flowers yet. I'm very tempted to take all of the leaves off because I don't want it to spread to the new ones like this one. And that one. But then... I've done that before, and because of the lack of leaves, the plant ended up being damaged. All right. Right here, blackberries waking up. And I have a grapevine right here that I staked with a fishing pole, that red fishing pole. And I was gonna pull it up like two years ago, and I couldn't because it was rooted onto this or it grabbed a hold of this fishing pole. So I said, well, if it had the strength to do that, I'm going to leave it. And it is woken up. Let me see. It's all in this passion fruit. But here are the leaves to that grapevine down there. So it is much so alive. And as you can see, even the passion fruit holds on to the grapefruit as the grapevine, I didn't mean to say grapefruit, but grapevine holds on to the fishing pole rod. All of this is my passion fruit, infantry, golf, butterflies have taken over. It's been getting there. See, there's another leaf from the grapevine. And right there is the corporate that is eating this non-stop just eating non-stop see you can see that that's the grapevine right there okay so grapevine is doing good go down a little bit right here oh i forgot what these are i forgot but i have them here and here oh cucumbers they are cucumbers so there's some here and I'm growing them up this closet rack. And then there's some more here growing up the closet rack. These were planted. These were planted later than these, but those are thriving better. There's some loofah. Um, I grow the loofah in ground because they don't have good 
transfer. As in, um, transferring, yeah. So right here, that's on this trailer that came from when I had first purchased it, is my passion fruit. I've seen one flower on it and it has been here for three years now, but it takes over this whole this whole decking area. All of this is covered at the end of the summer, but then it doesn't die down in the winter, but it gets eaten up by the infantry um, butterflies and that's what controls it from really, really being just massive. Now, here's a great find that from the rain, it is really blossomed. You see it, it's grown into the deck and come out here. And then, uh, collards, these are collards. We have a red acre cabbage, onion, onion, and cabbage right there. And some onions back there, you see that? All right, here is another grape. Right here, I cut this thing all the way back as you can see, and it is proving me wrong, it's giving me leaves right there. Right here, big onion. I have a lot of onions, I just stick them, and they really kind of keep down the pests. Right here, we have some milkweed. I just learned about tropical milkweed. I have to cut it back each season so that the butterflies will migrate. And there's another pot. I grew those milkweed from seed right there. So I'm gonna back up. This is my milkweed plant. It looks all sparkly because the butterflies have eaten it all. But as I just looked, it's getting some leaves right there. Yep, right there. The whole, whole, whole bush that's just eaten. I'm just proud of the ones that I grew from seed up here. Right there. Right, as I come around, I have some planters here. You see, these have tomatoes in it. And some miracles. And this is my strawberry basket right there. This is grown in a hanging basket. The This one has the cocoa, okay? And then this one has newspaper. Newspaper works perfectly. My watermelon. That's tall that it's grown. It's grown in this grow pot. And then, because it's so far away from the watering over there that I do, I fill it this water bottle and it has a dripper. And it slowly just drips the water in here. I do it on hot days. Um, look at that. The rain has fell, kind of exposed the. Um, let's just cover that up. Look at that. I don't want nothing to happen to the roots, so we're going to kind of cover that up. There's so many seeds in here. There we go. Get a little bit more. That's Nye over there with the dogs. Got some parsley, regular parsley, and some milkweed babies. Um, these I planted by seed. I never did take the little card out, but um, that was for pineapple mint, I think. Oh, pineapple, whatever it was. Anyway, you can see right here. We have a caterpillar monarch. That's one, two, 
too. And I kind of wish they wasn't eating the young plants because, oh no, look at the aphids. See the aphids? They don't mind the aphids though, but I don't want the aphids to take over my seedlings. There's some devil's backbone that kind of got destroyed um, from the from the cold we had. More, more milkweed up here. And from what I can see, look at that. Aphids have got a hold of this milkweed too. All right, let me show you. Let me show you something. Let me show you something. On the kids' playhouse. Look, do you see that? Yes, it's a chrysalis. I hope it's focused because I really can't see it too well. Beautiful, beautiful. And I found something else, let me show you. Found a butterfly drying out his wings. Just coming out of the chrysalis right there. This is chilling. It might be here till tomorrow because it's kind of cool outside. I really wish I could see the front of his wings. I think it's a golf. Infantry butterfly. Here's my asparagus fern right here. I am still waiting on it to give me seed pods or how it works because these crowns have been in the ground for years now. But I want to show. My baby asparagus. Look at that. Do you see that? Y'all know what this is. This is my aloe patch. I have to constantly dig up because there's always laying little pups right here. See this little one? I have to come out here and just dig them up and then I have to just use them. There's another baby right here. I got these in the pot. These are going to a new home. These babies right here and these pups. But these pups, they just can't keep coming up and I don't want them to spread any further. This is the mama. And last summer she had a long, tall flower. She loves this spot. She's very happy here. I had her babies on the other side of the house. They were not happy, so I brought them back over here with them. I thought my papaya tree was gone, y'all. I thought it was gone from the cold spell we had, but I just found a leaf. Another thing with collards. Here's my rainwater collection. Uh, I'm, it's going to get up, right? Alright, so this is my last stop. This is my onion patch. Right, thanks for watching fam i love you so much and i thank you if you watched this whole video and stuck around and um share my garden with you and i love you so much bye